Monday, footy's back. That's right, I'm Brendan Goddard. Wait, no, I'm not Brendan Goddard. I'm James Clements, and this is the AFL Today Show. I am your host. I am joined, as always, by a couple of dinguses that we found wandering around the office. Over there is Alex Donnelly, looking like an 1880s gold prospector. Yeah, oh, that's, that's actually pretty nice. A bit nicer than yeah. usual. I, I was <laughs> Compared that. to everything that's been said in the last 24 hours. Yeah, different P words. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the stats boy as well. It's gone on Liam McCallion. No, good to see you guys are getting along, and uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, very fine. nice. Yeah. A nice. couple of tins. <laughs> nice one. Uh, but it is a fun midweek madness show right now because we are heading into round 11. <sighs> That's gross. Is yeah. it? But I love it. It's I exciting. Live for the moment. Yeah. We've got one more week until buys start again. Oh, oh, yeah. So we've got to live it up this week. Absolute yeah. chaos. But remember, this is the AFL Today Show. Get around all of the socials for the AFL Today Show. We have plenty of stuff going on. Uh, get around the YouTube channel as well, or Stats Guy will find you and fight you. Yep. All right. Forty years back, news ticker. Midweek madness, of course. We've got the second half of the Sir Doug Nichols round. What have we got on Saturday evening? Dreamtime. Yes. Dream. That'll be fun. Dreamtime rules. Always one of the great games on the AFL calendar, of course. I'm heading to that one. That'll be very exciting. Yeah. Really? Yep. Nice one. Yeah. That's very cool. You don't barrack for either of those. In fact, you barrack for a really bad team. You just I go do. to some sort of nah. neutral support here. Neutral statement. support. That's why, yeah, MCC. It's always pop into a game once a week. Yeah. Why do not? you wear your north? No, uh, you're one I'm of those those, guys? no, I'm not one of those guys. No. That's weird. Don't I love I love the idea of wearing a different team's like colours to yeah. a, the only a specific game. To gather honest, round was I'm great. To that. be fair, with gather that. round was good. Gather round was yeah. different though. Yeah, that was, that was, that was like you walk in anywhere and you have to wear your yeah. stuff. I'm just all about anything that throws confusion under like <laughs> just random. The people. only time like, I have why is, why is that little man wearing a north? Yeah, like, well, I, was, I, I was at the I was Swans Collingwood game and I saw a guy in a hawk show. Like, you're in the wrong. I place. wore my north scarf once when we beat Richmond last year, year before. And it was, yeah, I was North going straight from that game? game to the other game, and there was actually a few North fans. See, like, if you went to like an Essendon Carlton game in Collingwood gear, yeah. everybody like, should we all bash him? <laughs> yeah, <it?"> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so on Anzac Day, I saw a guy, he had his Collingwood hat on, but his Melbourne Storm shirt on, so he was clearly going across to the Storm game yeah, that that's right. night. That's a man with his priorities. Like, I was like, that's, that's a man with a plan. That's I like Celtics that. jersey on underneath yeah. as well. <laughs> anyway, other news for the news ticker, Jakey Lever. Going under the knife, a little bit of just a bit of a touch up on his knee. Yeah. Which is pretty smart, seemingly, because he's out with a concussion anyway. So yeah. they're like, well, we'll actually just knock you out again. And <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, the they knife. don't have to. They don't have to uh, <laughs> knock him out. He's already out. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Um, <laughs> it's a tough one for Melbourne anyway, right? Because you just lost to the West Coast Eagles, mm. thanks to all of our new supporters out West yeah. uh, for backing <laughs> us and appreciating our uh, commentary. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't involved. That was all on you guys. Yeah, that's And fun. Leo, who's any fighting to the sun on his way to Contiki. We'll take I, any comments. I'm just saying, look, I'm going to stand here on my own two feet and say West Coast actually might not be very good still. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Well, at home they're good, but they maybe are. away from home now. Melbourne perhaps aren't very good. But anyway, Jake Lever out for a few weeks. Obviously not there. Not good there. Uh, Sam Naismith. Yeah. Speaking of not oh, good. This sucks. Fourth, this honestly fourth, sucks. Fourth ACL for this bloke. Yeah. Every time he's come back, you're like, this guy is actually a good player. He played really well for Sydney. Why for do you bit. think the Swans really well kept for Richmond. him instead of Nank back in the I day? Because he, yeah, he just doesn't get injured as much, obviously. Yeah, yeah. It's horrible. Very sad. No, they kept him because he had more ability and then his knees just started yeah. going. He just yeah. started blowing out knees. It's just not great when your knees are made of paper mash. Yeah, though. but no. as soon as that happens, it just keeps going. Just take it keeps happening again and point, again. Yeah. Like if Swimming, you're that tall, uh, you just go, well, it's just like three strokes to the end. <laughs> yeah. Basically in thought. Well, it just dives and then, oh, I'm there. Nice one. His uh, nickname is the crayfish. It yeah. is. It is. But Naismith, that stinks. Yeah, that's so, that oh, Richmond really also, they did release a big sort of uh, breakdown of all their injuries. And some of the other, like it's the crazy. likes of Hopper and Taranto, they were looking to be back around their buyers and stuff yeah. like that. So it's, there are, and Tom Lynch as well, right? I think the week prior to their buy, like, uh, there's like these little bits where Richmond are like, oh, this is okay. At the same time, just fire your season into the sun. You're one and nine, aren't you? Like, what well, are we doing here? But the thing is, they it's not like, oh, we'll just play the kids. They're playing the kids. They've literally they've got, got no choice. They've, 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 only, they've, got two, kids they've only got two more people you're that saying, they can't yeah. pick. Like, yeah. it, it's uh, available. I think they've got 27 available players or something. So it's like, yeah, it's ridiculous. Oh, uh, who, who's up next? Uh, Ball Boy, you're that in. That guy, he's played one v yeah. Bring him in. What? <laughs> Bring hey, him. that was a good kick. Training. <laughs> I yeah, still reckon the work experience you don't care. You're I think in. you should be able to like dive like if they've ever played for you before, you should be able to dive back in. Oh. So you can bring Koch and Rewalk. Richo. Back. I love it. Richo's just gonna <laughs> suit up and just be out there full forward for the side. Yeah, Richo's go. condition is I'm staying in the goal square. Yeah, Koch and just like, I'll go, please. And they're like, oh, you weren't very good. <laughs> Jack Dyer, you anyway. bring, bring them all back. Brett Delidio. <laughs> Delidio, I love that. Yeah. David Roden, you can go umpire and oh, play. Oh, but he's got the pipes now too. There we go. We wear the long sleeve and smile the whole time. That'd be great. Goal sneak. He's like, I just get the goal. 
goal. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, was it a goal? Yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah, no, Ghost Through Dark goal review, boys. <laughs> All right, other gear for news ticker Luke Parker, six week ban for oh. a big bump in the VFL. Talk about that in the air, Nas. Oof. Yeah. Uh, Libba. In a bit of good news, good to go seemingly in the next some point in the next few weeks. Yeah. Uh, there were rumors this week, so he's, he's retired. So like, people who send you messages on Facebook Messenger <laughs> who are very ready to jump the gun about yeah. stuff like that. Last, long, name, long WhatsApp last message. name Weaver, first name Andrew. Pump the brakes, I reckon, sometimes, <laughs> yeah. you know. Love you, Weaves. Uh, but Libba, look, that's good news. Not great if you just brought in Ed Richard for your super coach. But it so. also feels like he is one concussion away from it being, all right, this is, we got to pack this up. I don't know. He's got a head like a cement mixer, I reckon. Yeah, but it's just, oh, same it as was, his dad. He looks like a cement mixer when he, yeah, he's spinning around on the ground. So well, maybe probably he what it sounds like inside whoop, his head. Yeah. <laughs> right at home. Uh, he also, you know, when you've got boot studs in your face, I don't think you should like be able to bounce back as quickly as he has. Yeah, I and think that's why they said another three weeks. Week, so, yeah. Give him more if you need to. Uh, a little bit of news, Taron Thomas still sucks. Yeah, hasn't changed. <laughs> Really hor- horrible. That guy sucks. Can we just do a yeah, nah? Taron Thomas, never to play AFL again. Yeah. Well, yeah, like, uh, well, no, any, no, 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 the way that you phrase that was so dumb. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you said never to play <laughs> AFL again, you said yeah. I think you so meant, you want nah. him to play. No, he'll AFL. never I think play. You mean, nah, he'll never play again. Yeah. yeah. Nah, he won't. Or yeah, he won't. <laughs> <laughs> like, Forget what, about what it, yeah, he will never play football again. I'm okay. And he'll never be registered in like the third third division of the Talon Gala League or something. No, he shouldn't. He should never be able to step foot ba- across. Oh, I, don't, I don't want to get ten, into that. It that's if he's found down. guilty and, you know, allegations. Well, he's a horrible person. Same don't guy. let him near an AFL club or any sort of well, football Well, the fact that the AFL again. had to come out and actually release a statement going, yeah, he's not allowed to do anything. Like, this is out of our hands, everybody. Just to re- But this to is also you because you, we have, you know, dumbass coaches going, oh, yeah, we'd be interested in him. He's just a Chris piece Scott. of garbage. Yeah. You should actually have to go to some sort of convention and explain to uh, people who've been involved in domestic violence as to why you want to pick Taron Thomas and explain to them why yeah, it's a Brad good Scott idea. Brad Scott should literally have to front up to like DV survivors. Was it Chris and go, Scott? No, 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 this is why. Oh, no, it was Brad, Brad Scott. Sorry. Brad, yeah, this, it's like, this is SMD, why yeah. we want to have Taron Thomas and like those domestic violence survivors should be able to go, Hey, Brad, blow it out your nose. You <laughs> yep. Anyway, midweek losers, winners of the week. Families, are they winners or losers? That's the big question because we had Ed Langdon just go, oh, I've got an RDO this Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. It's like, oh, sick. I might just buzz off and go check out my brother's wedding. In London. In London. That's and crazy. everyone's like, that's fine. You're only playing West Coast. Oh, <laughs> And then they but, lost. Oh, well, no. he's not the reason they lost. Yeah. But Isn't he? No, he's not that <laughs> Also, <good. laughs> are you sure, Stats Boy? <laughs> Mullen from Geelong went to his sister's wedding in Ireland a few weeks ago. Yep. That's all right. Yeah. I love it. I, I don't mind it. Who cares? Like 20 years ago, no way in hell. But now it's just like, yeah. yeah. I love this because if you guys that. were like, oh, I'm going to go to my brother's wedding, I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a brother. Stats Boy Leo, he's like, he's like, oh, Stats Boy. Our social boy Leo, yeah. he's like, oh man, I'm going to go and contend. He's like, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> no fun on this watch. Jim's coming yeah. with you. <laughs> Middle of the season, no dice, no dice, mate. Says the guy wants to go away for a month next year. That's going to be fine. No one cares. <laughs> uh, right, <laughs> but families, come on. I think we can. Like the fact that people went after Ed Lang, it's like, dude, it's just. I know. Do we anything with Harley? Harley you know Reed, what yeah. doesn't matter? <laughs> that like it doesn't matter in the big scheme of things. No. Like we can all just go. You know what's more important in the greatest scheme of th- or your life? Family. Going his sister's your wedding. work life, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Going to a family wedding on the other side of the world, it's not going to, you know, ruin Did your also career. anyone notice that Ed Langdon wasn't playing? Nope. Nope. Uh, I actually really like Ed Langdon. I, I, I enjoyed it, but I honestly yeah. did not realize it. <laughs> I knew. I was yeah. like, oh, he must be injured. Like, did not know he's at a wedding. The other loser one is Harley Reid being homesick and uh, going, oh, she's really tough, man. You're like, oh. That's all right. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, man. <laughs> I've got a yeah, now nah, coming up that'll explain that. Yeah. Uh, and also, another midweek winner, Elliot Yo. Yeah. Yo! <laughs> because he's got a three-year offer, apparently, really? reportedly, I didn't say possibly that. Yeah. tabled by Radelaide. Yeah, from uh, uh, Ryan Daniels. He's the WA reporter. just like, oh, are you, uh, are you an injury-prone player? Come to us. Come yeah, to yeah us. but it's also yeah. getting him to a new doctor and things like that. But it's also, we have new all doctor. this money. We, They're all good we doctors. We have all this money that we want to spend. Here's money. Yeah. <laughs> Which is fine. Like, Danger and Yo, I don't think that's the answer. Uh, right. Danger's not going to go there. Was for Yo, it's like, he's like, no, I want to stay in West Coast and I like, help the rebuild. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and then Adelaide are like, here's he's the like, money. They're just like, uh, how about if we just make it rain? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, that's pretty good. Let's go to Adelaide. It's a lovely I also city. said this last year that Elliot Yo should go to Adelaide. You did, actually. That is random. We well, can find that clip. Cut. Hang on a sec. Do you run Adelaide? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do some yeah, nah. Yes. Number one, this is from Did the Swans Win? Do oh. supporters actually understand what constitutes a contested possession? Yeah, nah. 
I think Leo was talking about this. He does champion data, uh, and we have to might have to get him on the next show to talk about. I think it. it's yeah. Leo. Come over here. <laughs> Explain contested possession on camera, there, Leo. Quick, Leo, just come here. Get over here. Get over here. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to throw him under the bus. Oh, no, we've got the camera on behind the screens. <laughs> I've literally thrown him under champion the bus. Champion data's own Leo. Contested also our possession. Guy. What does contested possession actually constitute? It can be not just like a hard ball game. Can, you, can it also be where you talk into a microphone? <laughs> <laughs> He's talking into I the still microphone. Can't, I still can't yeah. work that out, can I, Jim? <laughs> you are shocked. <laughs> Thank God you're hey, I've, I've been put on the spot here. I'm, I'm a little bit of in Europe. I'm a little bit of <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, It's basically a hard ball get, but it's whether, like, it doesn't matter where the pressure is. Like, yep. if, if it's somewhat in congestion, it's still a hard, like, contested possession. So if I'm picking up the footy and you're on my clacker and I've just picked it up and dished off a handball, that's a contested that's possession. That's yeah. to be tackled it, or yeah. As well or, as yeah. if so it's think like... think about any touch that Nick Dacos has, it's the opposite of that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh okay, Mr. No. Contested possession. <laughs> yeah. It's also if like the opposition turns it over and then you win it back in like a, congest yeah, a congested yeah, yeah, area. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't Zach necessarily need to be... Of them. You don't necessarily need to be like getting tackled. It's like first possession type thing. Okay. okay. There, you go. there we go. There so we go. if you didn't understand what it was, you do now. So I'm, Thank yeah, you, Leo. From, for, from the question we were asked, they don't understand, but they do now. Exactly. So yeah, nah, nah. But now, yeah. Uh, was Nick Dacos's game against Adelaide overstated given that he went at less than 30% kicking efficiency? It was particularly noteworthy early. Yeah. Yeah, nah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, it was overstated. And it's overstated because yeah. he ended up what, with a million touches in the end. But 41 touches. He got the 10 coaches votes. It's like, but he his didn't deserve the coaches was votes, probably. Bad. It was, tough. It was still like, good. He, he was lots of those touches were clearances and then quick. It's kicks amazing. And like like that. you can always tell yeah. when like someone has like a uh, shockingly inefficient game where it's yeah. like you have forty one touches and you score one hundred and five super. Yeah, yeah it's true. Goal. Uh, yeah, it's definitely overstated. Like he didn't say, win yeah. the game for them. Hmm. No. Uh, was six weeks for Luke Parker too heavy a punishment? Yeah, nah. Yeah, I think. My guy, you go. Uh, I, 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 he didn't. Fully, he shouldn't have gone for the man. Definitely, definitely shouldn't have done that. But I don't think he was going for the head. He didn't. He got him in the chest, right? If uh, if I'm correct. And if you're not going, getting someone in the head and actually hurting them, I don't think it should be more than four weeks. Well, I'm going to say nah because yes, he chose to bump. If you choose to bump and then there is accidental head clash, which there was, and you cave yeah. in a man's skull because your skull is made of concrete, you deserve six weeks. He chose to bump. He's fractured the guy's cheekbone and yeah. eye socket. He's also adding, he's only a VFL player. He's actually like a plumber during the week. So that there's real life fair, yeah. Yeah. issues towards this as well. But the fact that he's gone the bump and he's broken his face, the guy hasn't had surgery yet because his face hasn't, swollen hasn't yeah. come down. So yes, it was the right punishment. And this is me as a Swans fan saying. Well, on top fair of that, enough, he should that. actually have to do the bloke's job for six weeks. That would be so funny. So, <laughs> hello, Parker. I'm your plumber, Luke Parker. <laughs> <laughs> do Luke, you know how to plumb Luke Parker? He's like, nah. <laughs> Luke Parker might learn. know. He's from country Victoria. He might. Maybe, he's yeah. fine. He's got, he's got a head like a plumber. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, think it's a, I think it's on the ball. Like, he hit him. Bloody hard. Yeah, if it was four, if it was six, I would have been like, yeah, oh, okay. okay. But six feels six feels right given with the Peter Wright one was four. Wow, we're still talking about this. If when <laughs> the mid-season trades come in, do we have a cap on what level a player can move? Yeah, nah, no. This is silly. Uh, so, nah. so you're saying anyone can move? Yeah, anyone can be traded. I so think I'm that saying makes more nah, fun. I'm saying it's up to salaries of yeah, 500,000. Nah, because you're a coward. <laughs> so <laughs> I think, I think yeah. Why not? You can go absolutely hog wild as long as you can fit them under the salary cap. And if you're mm. moving out commensurate salary as well, then it should be absolutely a free-for-all. Like there's no, oh, well, we can't move him because he makes too much money. Why does that make any sense? So then it, hmm. I feel like it'll take a few. But pause, it's more, no, so it pause, it's more because someone like from a North Melbourne be like, <laughs> we suck, I'm going to leave and go to another team. Okay, Alex has just uh, convinced me otherwise because, yeah, that could easily happen. Well, how much How much would Melbourne, who have room in their salary cap right now, throw Nick Larky to come play full forward for them right now? And then we got no. The forward. thing is, you got to understand, like if it's a trade, okay, you, you can, can ask for a trade. You don't have, you don't have to, to trade. Do it. That yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 but that's why I'm saying there should be a cap on a contract. Because they're literally under a contract for a reason. But where it's they also can request a trade to you, but you don't have to honor that request. But it's also you're going to have the Melbourne, good players from bad teams leave. If, one of the time, if <laughs> Melbourne send you stuff back, like whether it be draft capital, whether it be other player salary to make up, Ben that Brown spot. can go back there because literally mm. you should have literally this setup of where you have. Uh, draft picks that are worth X amount of salary space as well as the other salary to fill that in basically so you're getting players back and the way that other leagues tend to do it is like within 100 to 125% of what that player already makes right so you got to send out what you're getting back yeah. in if you've got salary space under the cap then you could at least have it up to like 150 maybe up 100, even further yeah. who knows like, more probably yeah but I think it should be absolutely a free for all because you know what that means it means that someone like North Melbourne if 
in the middle of the season is like, oh, actually, we've got all this salary cap space. Elliot Yo wants to leave and come home. Let's have a crack. yeah. That's a, it's still going to be it's the same. Like that. So players going, are only going to leave yeah. bad teams to go only. to a better that's team. Never gonna have, it's not only. There's no such in, thing. in the middle of the season. In though, the middle it will of the be. season, they might look at it and go, "Well, what I can do is set myself up for next, next year. year." And if like, so Elliot Yo is like, "Well, we need North is like Yo Yo, we need some <laughs> sort of veteran leader to come in and at least help us out for the next six months." Mm. Clarko's taking a shine to him or something, right? But. We're going to give you a contract extension from the year after, the same as what Adelaide are going to pay you. So come on now, mm. jump on board, get around the boys, learn oh, the culture, yeah. expand on this. It's not going to be one or the other, right? It never is. Like you have all the other leagues in around the world. Like I think you might be, you guys might be a little bit tainted with like the idea of football, right? Where you've got specific <laughs> divisions and stuff like that. Yeah. Where players don't tend to go down; they tend to go up, right? Players I mean, never leave for a worse exactly. club, or rare, very rare. Whereas, yeah. But it's yeah. more like uh, whereas with trades, because yeah. this is not literally just transfers; this mm. is trading. It's literally trading. So I think there should be no cap. I think we should be just going absolute hog wild, even in the mid season, off season. I think it's weird that it's only like a two week period anyway. Yeah, it's I think it's because the AFL it will take a few years to for like players to jump off like a team. I for example, think I, the- I think it's going to be taking a few. Like what you're saying about other sports. I don't think AFL players in that mindset they like that they would I'd be willing to change and that's team. why they but in need a few to be years doing possibly, it right now. I, yeah. I'm with yeah. Jim yeah. where yeah. the players have too much power as well. That's true. In like, AFL, if someone's like, we're power. offering you all of this for this one player, and the club's like, done. Yeah, easy. Pack your bags, you're gone. Yep, cool. All right, is Harley Reid the most much worst must watch? <laughs> there we go. That's must a watch, tongue twister. Must watch player in the AFL right now. Yeah, nah. I mean, after the weekend, probably. Yeah, I'm. Um, yeah, I tune into West Coast games to see what this kid's gonna do. Mm. Otherwise, that's, that's an easy, yeah. Yeah. So I think the yeah, the difference between the level of the team Who else is how much there? you want to actually watch them. Dacos. Right there. I'm not I'm not Rankin, putting, actually Rankin is I'm a part not putting him. on a Collingwood game to watch Nick Dacos. Right. I, I, Rankin, I, Rankin is so exciting to watch, I think. He also look it's only been the last sort of what five it's been weeks. Two no, weeks. Been, yeah. no, he's been great Never for about ever six before weeks. have you turned on a game to watch Isaac Rankin until someone said he's the top five player ever. I, Buddy was the last one the where you turn a game on Cyril. I'm not hearing that. They're the last two players. Suva. Maybe even actually, Super. maybe, maybe LDU, even peak danger. Oh, please, Child. LDU, <laughs> shut up. And for me, Noah Anderson. Uh, yeah, that, Jack Lacocious. Should State of Origin come back? Jeez, talk about like firing the guns a bit early. Maybe we should use this, this for is next a whole week. Yeah, no, this segment. is an entire yeah, episode. Right, yeah. Entire episode, should State of Origin come back? Of course it should. Yeah, of course it should. Yes. Imagine Harley Reid, Zach Butters, and Nick Dacos starting in this in the midfield for Victoria oh. in two weeks' time. That'd be sick. That would be nuts. I like that. It's like John Platten kicking it to Tony Plugger Lockett. Yeah, and him just telling Dunstall, get out of the way. <laughs> Craig Bradley next to Andrew McLeod and Stephen Cooney. Oh, yes. Anyway, big calls for round 11 or for the past round 10. Darcy Byrne Jones is going back. He's going back. Why has he got English there? <laughs> All Australian. It's because he's been he's hanging been, around sales guy Tim. Yeah. So good, Darcy Byrne Jones. Are you right? Sneak, <laughs> this, no, poor, this poor team. He might sneak into the All Australian team. I love uh, it. He might sneak into the squad. He's not making the He's the, the team. worst All Australian uh, choice of all time. Still to this Such day, a hater stat. You are a hater. And what if you if you two want to look down the camera and say he's going to be All Australian? That, I, I'm, Darcy I'm Byrne Jones will be an All Australian <laughs> again. Uh, but really, the big call is Harley Reid demands a trade to Carlton. Our Larry's hero, Chris Judd, because he's a bit homesick this off season. Boom. Talk away about we go. big calls over yeah. here, buddy. Oh. oh no, we'll maybe part with oh, maybe Patrick Cripps. Just <laughs> <laughs> send, send Patrick Cripps, Cripps back to Red. WA. Exactly. Oh, that would actually work. It'd yeah. Actually be awesome. So they'd want Patrick oh. Cripps and Carlton's two for, two picks this year. I can't believe I'm agreeing with this. So yeah. if you would you take Harley Reid for Patrick Cripps and Carlton's next two first round picks? One hundred percent. I love no, you, Cripper. I would actually be good at it. I absolutely love you, Cripper. But at the same time, at the same time, watching Harley Reid. Imagine Harley Reid and Sam Walsh. Oh. Watching Harley Reid just brings a tear to your eye sometimes and just sheer gratitude of how good he's at But ima- imagine if you were North Melbourne you could have had him. No, they didn't need him, though. Yeah. Uh, We'd still be on to Alex, still- be cool. <laughs> the roof will be open at Marvel Stadium tomorrow. Why is they that? don't open it, mate. You just want it to be. Thursday night, perfect weather. The last time the roof was open that I can remember for an AFL game was the Sydney Swans and Western Bulldogs. I'm just putting it together. The roof will be open to make Jim happy. You just see Alex on the roof trying to pull it It's open. open! <laughs> open it. <laughs> Please. Either that or it'll be open for the uh, Matildas or uh, the Arsenal All-Stars game on Friday Unless night. it's 37 degrees somehow. They're Shut not, up, opening, they're not opening that roof. It was open earlier this year, so there is precedent that it's open. <laughs> Stats boy? Uh, I'm going roll, roll Marshall, all Australian. 22 disposals, 12 contested, 28 hit outs, six and a half clearances. Obviously, you got Gorn. I think he'll be the number one ruck. And then they sometimes sneak in a, a little uh, ruck on the bench. 
Obviously, Grundy's been really good, but I, I think Rowan Marshall, just because the Saints have been horrible, he, everyone else in his team has been pretty average, but he's been awesome. So he even dominated so is the he last So has he been good in a pathetic team and he just looks good because Well, team he showed is last year that he was good as well. I, I think I don't no know, matter if his team out, would be good or not. He's still going to beat out Lloyd Meek. Yeah, Lloyd so. <laughs> Meek, he's been really good. So he's got to beat out Bailey Williams after he towed up Max Gorn last week. Oh, yeah, one gun game from Brody Brady Grundy. Grundy. But yeah, a sneaky all Australian, I reckon. The people aren't probably getting a lot of touches. Yeah. He's, a, he's, a, he's an extra midfielder. He's a gun. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Thursday night footy. <laughs> Thursday night footy. Uh, this game, I'll tell you what, it should be a cracker. That's right. The Swans are favored nine and a half points on the road at Marble Stadium against the Western Bulldogs. This is a surprisingly excellent matchup that you would have looked at and went, oh, I don't know about that. They and always have good, ma- good The matches. way these teams mm-hmm. are playing, yeah. who knows what could happen in this one. So the over-under is a pretty interesting 168.5. Over. It, it feels like over. it's going yeah. flying over that. Under right? the roof, I'm going to say. The Swans <laughs> are kicking over 100 points a game at the moment. This is flying over. Yeah, And the Dogs Can last kick. week put up 70 on the Giants. But it kicked the 822. week prior to that ripped off. Mm. 19-19-133 against the Tigers at the yeah. D. So, I don't know. At Marvel, though, how are the Swans there, Alex? Pretty good. Uh, we are 8-3 and three in the last five years at Marvel. I can remember the two of the losses. One was to the Western Bulldogs and one was to Carlton, uh, both on Thursday nights, actually. Ooh, um, but they are in 2022, I believe. Yeah. They were, yeah, those I, losses. So. I don't know what the third loss is, but I uh, were unbeaten in our last couple at Marvel. We won three games there last year. Mm-hmm. Nice one. Yeah. It was also a very raucous use of the word we. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Stats boy, you got some stats? Uh, why not? Seven of the last eight meetings between these two have gone under the total points, which is, was a bit surprising when you got yeah, some big matches. There was a lot yeah. of 70 to like 68. Last year was 70, 79 to 60, 78 to 76 but I think, or something. I think the roof's going to be closed and I think it's going to be very high scoring because you got the Lizard uh, scaring off halfback. you got a lot of yeah, great forwards on both teams. If the Bulldogs can kick straight, they can kick over 100 as well, but that's just a big if there. What did they kick? Was that, yeah, 19 points and then 22 points. 822. It was really hard conditions. They'll come back to Marvel and uh, yeah, kick a bit straighter, I think. Yeah, It's an interesting setup as well. So the Swans will be without Tom McCartan. Still without yeah. him. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Uh, which is interesting because you think about the dogs at Marvel and you th- yeah. like automatically you go Jamara. Norton. Norton. has been pretty good at Marvel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, Sydney did a pretty good job slowing down a couple Lewis of other. Lewis just going under the radar once again. A couple of big forwards last week. Uh, Matt Roberts could be back after a rest last week as well. Yeah, I think he comes straight back into the team and yeah. Braden Campbell stays a sub. Yep. yep. So that's just tough. Yeah, Fox out with the uh, AC joint. Robbie Fox also went out with a shoulder. Yeah. I- so just said that, yeah. But it's just like his role <laughs> he was just, for the Swans yeah. as well, right? Like this is that's what Roberts has been doing, though. Yeah. So you sort of look at that and go, is it like for like? It yeah, feels pretty similar. Ish. I don't know. It's a weird one. I'm tip. Like I think this is going to be a much closer game than we probably expect. The way the Swans have been playing has been awesome. They absolutely deleted my team. And I think last Wednesday's show we had a big call that might have been I don't know Jim saying something along the lines of. <laughs> Well, was it Sydney had beat Carlton by 10 goals and everyone started taking them properly Very serious? close, yeah, yeah. Bang. Surprisingly. Nostra Gymdas over here, I'm just saying. <laughs> Nostra Ginger. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Nostra, Nostra uh, Gymdas. Jim Gymdas, I don't know. Uh, Both not great. Anyway, the <laughs> Celtics, <laughs> Celtics just forced overtime. Oh! Uh, <laughs> Can I? They were down by three. Amazing. How has it gone to overtime? All right. This is an awesome setup, though, because you've got Bont on one side, Jamara and Co., and then on the Swans, you go, whoa. Whoever and the guns, the Heen Man, the guns. I don't Warner, Papley. Trelaw has been really good. Trelaw has been uh, averaging so thirty-three hard. disposals. Who does James Jordan tag? He's, uh, he's, he's, has he been tagging every single week? Last he has, four he? weeks, yeah. he's he knocked off Sam Walsh. Whitfield, um, Sam Walsh, and it could be Trelaw because it's like someone else. I don't know, does Trelaw nah, actually feel not like as damaging, damaging though? Nah, I would tag Trelaw. Let's take him out of the game. He does get a lot of clearances because he gets a lot. Of, yeah, I would tag Ed Richards. Question mark. Ed Richards had two good games. I would tag Trelaw. And around the clearance, I'd have Robottom and Taylor Adams, depending on who's in mm. the midfield at the time, put pressure on Bontempelli, basically. Sure. Nice one. Well, I think Swans win this, but it's by not much. Seven points. So Alex? I'm going to hate watching this because every Western Bulldogs game, it's just it's painful to watch against the Swans. It would Flash also backs. be the funniest thing in the world, considering you are an avowed Western Bulldogs hater. That if they won beat you, this game. that would be very funny. Do you have to say something nice about Bevo if they win? No. <laughs> no, you actually, I think this so is be a sandwich, the sandwich bet between he and producer Gerald at this point. Yes, well. Gerald's a massive uh, Gerald does man. not care, unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, yeah. which is great. Gerald is currently dressed as a bulldog uh, behind the <laughs> he camera. He does have that dog in him. <laughs> He's about to just try to punch on with Alex as yeah. well, just for talking yeah. down about his dogs. So. 
So, yeah, I think the Swans on all things being equal will win this game by four goals. I think they've just got too much for the dogs at the moment. I'm looking at they beat Richmond and the Giants are in free fall at the moment, whereas the Swans have just deleted Carlton. Yep. No Jason Johannesson. Ah, that's Riley not Sanders out. could come back. Surely he comes back in. He's Bevo like said he's got to work touches. on his defensive work, so that's oh. why he's not getting getting a game at the moment. That's crap. Also, Norton at the moment has kicked 16 goals I think, in the last six or seven weeks, and like he's the number one player in the AFL for score involvements and goals in could that be, time. It could be a random massive Jamara game. He has one each year, right? Where it's like he's <laughs> We've been goals. saying this for like four weeks, yeah. though. Cody Wayman's yeah, usually the one against the Swans <laughs> that does it, but he's still out. So yeah. yeah. Maybe a Jamara game. Six, yeah. six goals, what do you reckon? Mm. Uh, Stats boy, what's your pick here? Oh, very similar, Alex. Uh, Sydney by three goals. Just think they can match them in the midfield and then they're going to kick too big of a score. Like, unless, the line unless feels the short at nine and a half away. given recent form. Uh, I think the line and the over yeah. is a little bit out of whack. So yeah, be yeah the line should be that, closer so. to th- yeah, three goals, I think. Yeah, yeah, I thought Swan 17 and a half and the over under should be nearer to 180. Mm. Nice one. Agreed. There you go. Bit of Thursday Night Football. It should be a cracking game down at Marvel Stadium. Uh, then Super Coach tips, vibes, thoughts. Here we go. Very quickly, Joe Richards and Joel Frazier. Uh, the biggest in so far. Who the hell's Joel Frazier? It's Joel uh, Frazier, I think. Frazier? Fra- yeah. Frazier. 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 Niles! But Joel Frazier... He twelve and a half percent of trades have been him because he's a mid forward for the dogs. Ah, and Joe Rich is just the straight up forward. One twenty three. I bought Joe Richards in. And I think he's got I'm a really, really good break well, even. It's a negative ninety five. Minus ninety five is pretty good. So I've got Rankine, who obviously pinged the hammy. I think I'm going to keep him on my bench. I don't want to burn the trade. It's <laughs> yeah, it's not worth if you just bought him. The problem is they've got a. I think they've got the round. They were the last buy as well. Yeah. So they might just go. We'll just sit you the entire time yeah. through to like round sixteen. You've suddenly like. Lost him for five weeks. Yeah, I'm very five. lucky to bring in Zorko instead of uh, Rankin. Did you not see he, he's, he was at some physio with needles and cups all He's over old. Him. He probably does it every week. He'll, he'll, he'll be all right. <laughs> Maybe that's what I need to do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we get that in the studio. Cells. Stem cells. <laughs> anyway, uh, there are some sort of big interesting vibes as well for the VC captain vibe. Is like, Connor Rose going to be back this week? No one knows, right? So he, they, the, said, they, they said he's the available. Injury, yeah. The injury <laughs> has popped off his uh, super coach name, which is always nice, but... I don't know, hammies. I just don't want to ever risk it, right? Uh, but the VC gear, I think we talked this out on the official Supercoach program. Heen man, not bad against the dogs. Hasn't had like huge, huge, huge numbers, I think, against them in the past. He's but this a- is also this year, is his numbers are just way exactly. above what he's done before. Mm-hmm. Errol Goulden's good at Docklands as well. Big one for me is Caleb Sarong. Yeah, he's been the most guys, consistent, I think. Yeah. Frio at home, and I think when he's mm-hmm. played at home this year, he's ripped off 170, Crazy. 125, 140, 150. And even when the like Swans so. the swan smashed him, I think he still got still 150. Got, I think it was a massive score. Or even yeah. higher than that. So he was he, on like 24 touches at halftime. Even if you think Collingwood are going to win, you can so still bank in a captain. Sarong for my VC on mm-hmm. the Friday night. And then probably into Gorn against the against Royal Marshall. Oh, I don't G. know about that. That's, Interesting. He right? might get less points because he's playing Marshall, but mm. maybe Oliver Petrarca, who is playing Richmond. If you've got Zeret, he's actually Zeret probably against, a great, great one Richmond. against the Tigers. I think his last two games have been like one sixty two mm. and one fifty nine against the Tigers. So Come on, that. a couple of good ones there. If you've got Zeret. All right, anything else for the midweet Magnus show? Oh, Nothing. We covered right. a bit of everything. Sweet. Yeah. There is a little bit of everything. I think we also fixed the trade period. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, that'll do for AFL Today for today. We'll be back with AFL Today tomorrow for the team show, which will be very fun. Thanks to the Ding Guy for jumping on, Alex Donnelly. Yeah, cheers, Jim. Not a problem. And the Stats Boy. Thank you. Not a problem. Again, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, remember to smash a like across all the socials. See us doing lots of weird, fun stuff, filling in all your footy gaps throughout the season. You can see it across Facey, IG, X, Threads, TikTok, and, of course, YouTube. Remember, it is the Sports Today show on the old Facey, because sure, why not? Uh, but subscribe, star, and like all of our shows across all your podcast apps and YouTube, of course. What is there? There's a Cricket Today podcast, the Football Today podcast, NBA Australia, NFL Australia, Hold all tickets with the GGs and lots of other stuff. Get around all of them like Scott Wine around a perm in 1992. Yes. Wow, what a reference. Love that. All right, that's it. We'll catch you later this week, i.e. tomorrow night for the team show for more I Fail Today. Till then, look after yourselves. And remember, footy back. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.